Alright, it is time for episode 6 of Pork Openings. Um, and as you can see in front of us today, it's very Sword and Shield uh, themed because obviously the Sword and Shield sets have come out recently. Um, and yeah, I intended to open them and I thought, hey, let's chuck them together into a vaguely similar video. I admit, um, I don't think there's four packs of Sword and Shield in there, so it's not going to be all but the same set, but uh, who cares. Anyway, in front of us, as you can see, we have one of the very new um, Galar Partners tins, I think they're called. Obviously this is Skull Bunny, or well, rather a Cinderace, which is very confusing because they've got both on the front or whatever. And of course we have the two triple packs that came out um, in conjunction with it, which is the Morpeko um, promo one and the coin, and the Galarian Ponyta one. So, um, I'm going to crack open the three packs first, I think, and then let's get on to the tin. So I'm going to put the tin to the side for a second. And I think we'll start with the more peckle thing. If you do want to have a look at the back, that is the flavour text if you want to pause and stuff. It's all very kind of vague and, hey, embark on a new adventure. Um, although we do have a picture of best, but actually, it's the, oh, okay, yeah, they're both. Zachian. That's an interesting one. I'd, I'd have thought one of them would be Zaman Center, but um, apparently only Zachian uh, appears. Zachian? Zachian? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anyway, let's crack this open. Um, so I've not opened anything from uh, Sword and Shield yet, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's in the set. I think there's a Charizard that everyone's after, um, which isn't new for this set. That is true for literally every Pokemon set that has come out in the past featuring Charizard. Right, two seconds. Let's pull this guy out of here. And this is the more Peko, um promo. Very nice. I do the the hollow effects on promos are usually really on point. This is sh Sush. Or 12, uh, if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, put that to the side there. I'm not going to bother getting the coin now because they're a pain to get out. But as we can see, upside down, it is Mega Garchomp. I think, I'm pretty sure that's Mega Garchomp because you've got that weird star on his head and the, like additional thing. I'm never a fan of Mega Garchomp really. But hey, you know, each to their own. Anyway, I'm going to put that to the side. I'll put that on top of it. And we have three packs. And what are the designs? We have Zakian. We have, oh, Gigantamax Snorlax. Okay. Cool. All right. Wasn't expecting that. And we have Zaman Zenta. Um, yeah, that's, that's a weird one. I'd have expected, like, I don't know, one of the starter, like, final evils or whatever. Um... Well, let's let's go with the Snorlax first then, shall we? So I'm guessing the card order is going to be similar, if not exact. Like uh, Sun and Moon introduced, which is four to the front, and the first one will be an energy, I think. So let's put the code card to the side. Four to the front. I'm going to guess a steel energy to start with. I was completely wrong. All right then, let's see. I'm looking forward to seeing the um, new gens Pokemon. Hey, and we begin with a Thwacky, which is obviously a new gens Pokemon. I kind of like, I'll be honest, he's not my favourite mid-Evo. Um, I really like Raboot, actually. I think as much as Cinderace. Hey, we got a Palpad. Fantastic. We have a Citrus Berry. Very nice. Hey, Diglett. I'm I'm sad there's no Galarian Diglett, because I did love Alolan Diglett, but yeah. And the symbols changed a bit on the cards. They got like a strong white outline or something, I think. Oh, we have Pharaoh Seed, who does indeed appear in the game. That's going to be another one, actually, because obviously they cut a lot of Pokemon from the games. So I'm guessing all of these are things that will show up in-game. Uh, we have a Goldeen. Oh, that, damn, that's a... That's a pretty darn cool bit of art for Goldeen here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got a Roselia. Yeah, so far all of these I recognise from being in the game. Very a kind of action-y pose for Roselia there. We have a Joltik, who is definitely in the game because those Galvantulas are terrifying when they chase you on your bike. Ooh, okay, we have a Reverse Lucky Egg. Very nice. Ooh, 
Hey, I'm liking the, um, yeah, I'm liking the reverse kind of thing going on. Is that like a sword? No, wait. No, that's just like abstract towers of Pokeballs or whatever. And our rare is a cloister. Very nice. I feel like that's very similar to other cloister art I've seen in the cards. But, um, hey. Now, ooh. Oh, I just noticed, actually. I think they've added, like, a bit of effect to the um, energy stuff as well. It kind of has got a weird energy trail thing. Unless I'm wrong, right? Pretty... I'm pretty sure that, like, Sun and Moon had a very um, standard kind of looking thing. It's very clean. You know, there's nothing really going on. And I, I did like it for that. Definitely not a criticism. Uh, right, so... Right, craft, I see a Yamper. Uh, I shall put Code Guard to the side. Uh, I'm going to go with Grass Energy this time. Nope, Psychic. Yeah, okay, oh, nice. All the um, energy. I'm really digging that, actually. I know it's like a really simple effect, but I don't know. Hey, we, be <laughs> we begin with Thwacky again. Okay. And a Pearl Pad again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was I was slightly concerned then. It's like, have we got a faulty triple pack? But no. We have a citrus berry. Very nice. Berries are very important in the game for cooking and stuff. We've got a yamper that we saw just now. Very adorable. Honestly, Boltund has grown on me. Um, oh, nice. We have a Grookey. Very nice. Oh, the background's very similar to Thwacky as well. I like it. Kind of consistency. Hey, we got a Q fan. Very nice. Uh, next up is Baltoy. Very cool. I, you know, Baltoy is another Pokemon that I think over the years has grown on me because at first him and Claydol I did not care about. But I don't know. Now I I kind of like him. Uh, we got a Chinchow. Who I I think is in the game. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm midway through doing my uh, complete decks. Oh shit. Oh wow. Okay. Hang on. Actually the. Is it just me, or is the like reverse hollow a little darker looking? I I kind of like it. Oh, oh, okay, right. Sorry. So I thought that symbol was just for the trainer cards, you know, like the um, arrow line things. But no, it it appears that all of them have it. It's just instead of a pokeball, obviously, it's the element symbol. That's really cool. And yeah, all of the elements have that like white outline. Nice. And our rare is a Sandaconda. E. It's a shame it's not the Gigantic Max version of the kind of like dreidel spinning top thing, but hey, I'll take it. Very nice. All right then, cool. Good thing is as well, because as I mentioned, I've never opened any uh, Sword and Shield packs yet. So getting, you know, even the standard rares and stuff is exciting for me, because I've not, as with the rest of the set, I've not really seen any images of the cards from this set, apart from like... I know there's a uh, full art Marnie cards that everyone is after, obviously, because Marnie is one of the best characters. Um, fire energy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> hey, nice. Right. It, does this mean we're on a roll? Oh, it's not a thwacky for once. We have a metal saucer. Very cool. Okay, I, I don't know what that does. I'll read it afterwards. But that's the like metal logo from the energies and stuff. Hey, we've got a quick ball. Very cool. We have a Mantine. Damn, I haven't seen Mantine in card form. Actually, no. No, I, I say a lie. I think... I'm pretty sure he appeared in, like, a set or two ago, maybe. We have a Mowile. Very weird to see Mowile as a common. I think it's a common. Yeah, that's a, that's a common. Okay. Interesting, I suppose. Uh, hey, we have a Gossifler. I like Gossifler. Not very good Pokemon, but it's it's cute. Uh, we have a Goldeen. Oh, wow, so there's two Goldeen cards in this set, then. That's so weird, because, like, Goldeen's not exactly a fan favourite or anything. Hey, we've got a cute little Diglett again. We have Scorapy. Very nice. I, it, it's been a while since I've seen a Scorapy, I think. Uh, ah, there's... Oh, wait, no, yeah. Culver's Quiet. Nice. Man, Reverse Hollow Steals. Like, they always look good anyway, because, you know, it fits. But man, this is goddamn shiny. Maybe it's not as dark as I thought it would be. Corvus Choir, very nice. And our fight. Yo! Ho ho! 
Holy shit, they've really gone out on the hollow thing here. We've got a Perserker and like Damn. That's a good looking hollow, yo. Know? That's like it's it's not one of, well, it's a Galarian. That's weird actually. Galarian Perserker, because like I know this is a um Persian, but obviously it's it's not called Persian though, it's Perserker, so I don't know why they put Galarian there. Um yeah, that's weird, but hey, there we are, we pulled a hollow, that is, I am happy with that. Very, very nice, oh yeah, he's steel, ah, I keep forgetting he's steel. Right, okay, so I'm going to clear up these three packs, uh, put them to the side, and then we'll crack into this second triple pack. Alright, back, and it's time to do the Galarian Ponyta um, triple pack. Pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty, well, pretty decent luck in the last pack. Got a hollow. That's all I care about, really. Uh, oh, this is going to be difficult to open. Hang on, be right back. All right, there we go. God damn, this was not an easy one to open. I know triple packs are a bit of a pain to open anyway, but, uh, I don't know. That was slightly more so than usual. So, let's grab, hang on. Oh, that was really tightly packed in there. Uh, let's grab our promo thing. Uh, right, and here she is. Or he is, I suppose they can be he's, but does not look particularly masculine. Um, yeah, very, very cute. Kind of like with the, the Morpeko, the hollow effects are like... You know, they obviously specially make the promo ones hollow a little bit more impressive than the regular. Although, saying that, Perserker looked pretty cool as well. So yeah, and this, I believe, is Swish 13. So yeah, um, there's... I, I think I did open the triple pack before with um, the sort of Galar starter things with the oversized Zacian card. And I think they were like Sword and Shield 1, 2 and 3 or whatever. So we have Zaman Zenta. We... Oh, we have an upside down Solax and we have Zakian. So, oh, okay, guys, what's the f what's the fourth pack design then? I I will see it one day. Um, right. Well, let's go in the same order again then. Let's go Snorlax, Zamanzenta, and then Zakian. Yeah. So far, digging the set. I don't know how many cards are in this set. I'm gonna guess like. In the 130s range. I'll put her on screen when I find out how many cards there are. Um, and we're going to start with the... Uh, I was going to say a fairy energy, but haven't fairies been taken out of the game or something? Psychic energy. Nope. Okay, then. Well, let's begin our card journey. First, we have a Salazzle. Wow, very... Very dynamic pose. That. It's a very weird version of Salazzle as well. That... That doesn't quite look right. I I don't think. I don't know. That that's such a straight. Oh, hang on. I've pulled two. Sorry. We have a Doug Trio. What? What is? What's going on? What? Why are the Why are the Diglets? <laughs> what? What is going on? Why are the Diglets so scared of the Doug Trio? What? That's so confusing. Because surely Doug Trio live among Diglets and stuff. R right? We have po Pokemon Centered Lady. I guess she's not Nurse Joy anymore? Is she just... I... Ve oh, okay. I I wasn't aware that was what she was called. I, I guess I skimmed over it in the game. We have a angry looking Shelder. A Mobile again. Very... Still not sure why it's a common, whatever. Hey! We got a Galarian Ponyta to go with our Galarian Ponyta. Very nice. I that is different art. Yeah, okay, cool. I wasn't I wasn't too sure then. I was like, wait, is this the same art but hollow? Hey, we got a sobble. Fantastic. Um haven't pulled any Scorbunny line yet. That's uh you know, that's weird because I as I said, I really love Raboot. We've got a Maractus. Um okay. I'm, I'm glad you're back in the cards. Hey, we have a Rhyhorn. Uh very very cool hollow design. Sorry, I, I still can't get over that. That's it. That is really cool looking. Very nice. Very washed out a little bit, but whatever. And our rare is a Snorlax non-Gigantamax. Although, wow. Holy crap, there is some detailed background work there. That's... Damn, that is a piece of art right there. 
I mean, Snorlax ain't like my favourite Pokemon or ever, but I I would display that on a wall somewhere, not not in like the main room of a house, but damn, that's a they've really stepped up the art, you know. I mean, not that the previous sets have had bad art or anything, but um, yeah, not bad. Right, let's crack in this Zaman Center pack then. Let's oh oh okay, it just split down the side. Fair enough then. Let's do it this way, shall we? Uh, it's a code card to the side, four to the front. Start with a fighting energy. No, oh, dark, oh, damn! Dark energy is looking cool with that effect. Okay, then we've got energy retrieval, uh, the classic. Hey, we've got a ferrothorn to go with that ferroseed card we pulled earlier. We've got a heat. Heatmore? Oh, I did not know Heatmore was in the game. Uh, I, I presume it is because there are 400 Pokemon in the game. and There's not 400 Pokemon in this set. Uh, 400 cards in this set, I'm sure. We've got a Mudbray. Very kind of cute. Hey, Ponyard. Um, I'm, uh, I'm kind of kind of reading for a shiny uh, uh, Bright Shop. Well, or Ponyard, I suppose. There we go. There's our boy, School Bunny. Oh yeah, everything's on fire behind him, I think. Or maybe that's just energy. There he is. <laughs> I really like that artwork, actually. School Bunny is precious. Hey, we've got Nickit. Very nice. I was just checking. No, that's not reverse. Okay. Very cool. I, I like dark, the dark cards because it's kind of like got that, um, you know, the, the light bit there. There's the juxtaposition or whatever you would call it. We have a Chincha, which for a second looked hollow because of the light reflection. We have... <laughs> hey, there we are. We have a reverse hollow Wooloo. I think my pulls are done. I'm, I'm happy with that. Although, it does look very similar to reverse hollow steel. So it kind of looks like Wooloo's just gained a steel type as well. Hey, there we go. Rillaboom hollow. Yeah, boy, look at that. Damn. That's cool. Okay, I, I like that. Although in game, I I do find it a bit weird where he kind of just summons his drum thing out of thin air. It's like I I understand a lot of the Pokemon are kind of like, hey, it may look like clothes, but it's fur. But Rillaboom just summons a drum. It's not. I don't understand. But hey, let's end on this Sakian pack. Can we pull a GX or um, V? They're V's now, aren't they? V cards, not GX. Um, oh, that's that's got horrible connotations to it. Okay, yeah, I I I assume everything's V now, and it isn't a GX, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna say this is a psychic energy again. No, I was wrong. Although I think we've had a different energy each pack so far, which ain't bad. And, oh, hey, we begin with a classic portion. That is classic portion there. Very nice. On to a hit. Mon what the hell is wrong with his arms? They Are they that long? I mean, I, I like the rest of the artwork. It is very, like, um, very Hajime no Ippo, but his arm, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. He is a boxing Pokemon, but, like, hey. Galarian Linoon. I really like the... Uh, Galarian Zigzagoon line, very cool. We have Minchino, everyone's kind of not favourite normal type mouse boy. We've got a Vulpix, very cute. Uh, I forgot Vulpix is in the game, but yes, he is. Uh, or she. Mana, uh, ooh, very, very uh, minimalist art there. Is that a clay model? I'm not massive on the clay model ones, but whatever. We've got a Roselia again. Oh, that's a different Roselia again. So we've got two different Goldines and two different Roselia cards in this set. Okay. We've got everyone's favourite derpy looking thing, Tootle. I, I like Dreadnought, but eh, Tootle is. Oh, okay. We got a reverse of that very same Roselia. Can we end on a hype thing? Oh, shit. Yes, we. Wait a second. Hang on. This is textured, what the fuck? Hang on. <laughs> right, I'm gonna check what number it is. No, that I'm very confused now. This is 50 out of 202. Um, but this is textured. As in like oh, oh I see, wait, it is and it isn't. 
So there's a texture to it, as in you can feel like grains, but it's not in the shape of the image, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I, fuck, I forgot Lapras had a G-Max form as well, but yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's got like a mountain temple thing on its back. Yo, that, <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I, I was being facetious. I didn't think we'd actually get a V, um, uh, any kind of card, but... God damn, look at that. VMAX. So right, there's V cards, which is when they're GXs, and then VMAX is obviously the Gigantamax version. That is a pretty card. And it's got it's it's got depth to it and stuff. You can't feel it, which is what really threw me off, because obviously secret rares have that special kind of layered raised stuff. But damn, just looking at the light, you can see the layering. That is... Oh, man. That's so nice. I'm so glad that they've... Um, I mean, it was the same with the Sun and Moon set, but I'm so glad that they've kept that... The, like, special EXGX VMAX kind of cards are full art and not just, like, slightly nicer. Anyway, I'm going to grab the tin and we'll go on to our final four packs. Four packs, that's three. What the fuck? Okay, be back in a second. All right, I'm back with the score bunny tin. Oh, well, uh, no, uh, the Cinderace tin. And as we can see on the back, it's something that comes with one of the promo things, four TCG booster packs, and a code card for, um, I think, I'm pretty sure they give you, like, a kind of deck or something, don't they? I can't remember. Um, anyway, I'm going to rip open the plastic. Uh, which is always a bit of a pain, but I like to do it on camera just to show that, you know, I, I am opening the product and stuff. Not that I imagine many people are scrupulously watching this, trying to catch me out on faking pulls. Do people do that? I, I guess you would, if your hand's big enough or something. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to pull her out of the thing because you can see it in its full glory, but this is indeed Cinderace V. Look at that. It's a pretty darn cool design. I um, It's keeping the GX thing of the kind of like weavy hollow pattern all across. I think there's no real texture to it. But goddamn, that is a nice card. I I am tempted now to get the... Oh, yo, I just realised actually there's a like V thing there. And because of like the black outline, I don't know, it just makes it pop a bit more. Not that the, um, not the Lapras card I just pulled doesn't pop because that shit pops too. Ah, oh, man, that's pretty cool. I'm tempted to get the other two now, to be honest. I told myself, hey, I'm just going to get this one because he's my favourite. But, I don't know, maybe. Uh, and then we have the plastic thing. So, we've got a Sword and Shield pack. We have a Sword and Shield pack. A Cosmic Eclipse pack. Fair enough. And a Ste Ooh, Steam Siege. Wow, that's, that's going back. Okay then, cool. Let's uh, crack open this Steam Siege thing. I'm actually almost fully complete with my Steam Siege set because a friend um, went quite into collecting just Steam Siege as one thing and he didn't want them anymore, basically. So I bought um, the binder off him, basically. I think I need like two or three break cards, I think. So this is... wait. Yeah, this is X and Y, so three to the front, isn't it? Should be. Hey, oh yeah, I remember, like, dual typing kind of stuff kind of came back for a while. Right. As we marrow, we have a special charge. If I can get a break card, I'll be very happy, but I highly doubt it in one pack. Rapid Ash. Meowth. We've got a Hoppip. A Litwick. Oh, he's, he's got little candles in the background, keeping him company. And Mareep. Very, very cute. We have a Krogunk. A reverse seed dot, so we ain't getting a break card. Ah, no. And a final is a jump bluff. Alright then, well, hey. Was that underwhelming? Yes. But, I learned something. Um, if I want to complete my set, just buy the singles. Right, we have a Cosmic Eclipse. Star... Oh, okay. I, that, that's a very... I don't know... What's, oh, it's like slashing. I thought it was holding... Um, I thought Solgalia was holding... You know those, like, warning things? The green and black 
you see that sort of building site. I thought he was like holding that or as part of his design. I was very confused. Um, yeah, Cosmic Eclipse. I don't think I've opened many Cosmic Eclipse cards. Or maybe I have. I can't remember. It's Sun and Moon, so it's four to the front. And it's going to be a water energy. No. Yeah, see, it's so like in comparison to the Sword and Shield thing. I kind of like it because it's more s simple and clean, but like simple and clean. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, ooh, we have Island Challenge Amulet. We have a Curlier. Roller Skater. Oh, yeah, there was a class of character. Oh, we have another Chin Chow. There we are. It's very popular in the cards, Chin Chow, I've noticed. Hey, you've got an Azumarill and it's kind of like crocheted or. Is that, yeah, it looks, no, is it knitted? Yeah, it's meant to be knitted, uh, in keeping with, like, Yoshi's Knitted World or whatever. Uh, we got a Ruffler, very cute. Oddish, very, very cute. Also, one of my favourite Gen 1 designs. Um, we've got a Ralt, ah, uh, to go with the Curlier. We've got a Crab Roller. Okay, I, I do kind of like these, man, reverse designs, like, some of them are fantastic. Like this, Big Fist, lots of Little Fists. And, ooh, wait, hey, we got a hollow como. Como, or, or, yeah, okay. Very nice. Um, not as crazy on this hollow design, but it still looks pretty cool, to be honest. And also, pulling a hollow, hey, you know, especially from one pack of a set, not bad. And our last two is, uh, let's go with Snorlax first and end with Zacian. I was going to say Zacian V, but that is just Zacian, isn't it? Is there a non-V Zacian card in this set? I wonder. Well, let's see. So, ooh, we got a Skull Bunny again. Man, if actually, you know what? My aim now, because we pulled a V Max card, my aim, if we can get a Raboot, I will be thoroughly happy. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot to guess the energy. Fire. Let's hope this is the theme for the pack. It's not going to be, because that's not how they work, but you know. We've got the Rotom bike, very nice. Uh, controversial opinion, I quite like Rotom taking over so many little form things. I think it makes the world feel more integrated. We have a big charm. Hmm. Uh, is that just for fishing? I don't know. Oh, that, that seeking... Is it just me or the eyes a bit too close together? I... Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that seeking. I, I, I think it's a cool design, but... Hmm. We've got a Skull Bunny. Wait, is that a different... That's a different Skull Bunny, isn't it? Because one of them, didn't it have, like, fire behind it or something? Okay, interesting. We have a Sinistee. Very nice. A Maractus again. Thanks for showing up. We ha Ah, Pikachu! There we are. I wondered why I hadn't pulled a Pikachu in this set yet. Because, obviously, every set has a Pikachu in it. Hey, we have a Galarian Meowth to go with that uh, pretty darn cool hollow Perserker. Oh, <laughs> we've got a uh, reverse hollow air balloon, everyone's favourite uh, pre-evolution of Griffloon. And our... Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, and our rare is... Wait, this is weird. So, VMAX cards have a texture to them that adds, like, layers, but V cards do not. Because this doesn't have the same texture as Lapras, but it does have the black edge. Oh, shit, son, look at that card. Like, Keldeo isn't even my favourite Pokemon or anything, but, like, damn, boy. And uh, that is its number. In case anyone's interested. Oh, that's actually like three away from Lapras or something, was it? Or, oh, I don't know. They're both water anyway. I had really big luck with V uh, pulling like water Vs today. Very nice. That's, damn, that's really cool. Obviously, the black border, I know it's, it's a little thing, but it really adds a lot. Ah, oh, let's end with this Zacian pack. Honestly, holy fuck, we've pulled way better cards than I expected. I know we've had, what, um, 10? Yeah, we've had 10 packs. Out of 10 packs, a V and a V Max card, I'm like, two or three hollows. That's pretty good going. I'm gonna finish on electric energy, because we haven't seen one so far. No, okay then. Let's <laughs> oh, that card again. I I do not understand. Like, wait, is that another Doug Trio being scared by that? 
I know there's like the running joke in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Team um, that like Doug Trio keeps appearing and scaring everyone because no one can see him or them. Uh, we've got NG Retrieval. Wait, is that the same image as last time? I swear it was like the fire and water. Before. I don't know. Uh, we have uh, Galarian Ponyta again. Very cute. Minchino. A different Minchino. Man, we've got a lot of two different versions of the same card in this set. Got a Sobble. Mm, yeah, pretty nice. Hey, Blipbug! Damn, I, f oh, I forgot. Yeah, I... Man, or Beetle. Yes, please. We have a Baltoy. We have a Krabby. Very cute Krabby. And we end... On a Drapion. Okay, wow, slightly anticlimactic, but damn. We have pulled some good cards today. Some good-ass cards. It has been... Very good. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave like a playlist to other poke opening episodes and like another video that YouTube has decided you'd like. Um, yeah, that about ends it. Thank you very much for sticking around. It's been a long video, but it's been fun. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>